Greetings all, Devious Monkey. Today, I wanna to show you my newly reorganized office slash studio. I know I've shown you this before in its various iterations, because I'm constantly changing things. Somebody suggested that perhaps maybe I would show the office slash studio again. So without further ado, here's what we did. Just a bit of art from various people that I've bought art from over the years, plus the little monkey thing that I bought. In a... So here's what I did in the closet. I actually moved my dresser from the back wall into the closet just because I felt like I should have it out of the way. Like just having a dresser with my clothes in the middle of all this office furniture and, and studio equipment just didn't seem right. So I finally shoved it back into here after I cleaned all the garbage out of the closet. This hasn't changed. This is still my charging station where I do all the charging. I have everything labeled all the batteries sitting there and all of the plugs labeled because it drives me crazy when I have to redo plugs and I don't know what they go to. So I label everything as it goes in there. Now you've seen what I did by trying to make it a little bit more maritime. So I added a couple of these big tapestries. And then there's the mermaid in the other corner. Okay. Now what you can see a little bit more of, the little red strip, that's what you can see of the wall, and then across the top. I basically painted the entire wall red. Don't know why, just felt like it. And then I bought this oak paneling and I just screwed it into the wall. And it goes up right to the end there, and basically over in the corner right there. Keeping with the maritime theme, I added the lanterns. There are a ton of these, I don't know, like coat hooks that I found in, in various antique malls, so I bought that one in addition to the scary bat. The change that I did was that right there, that's the keyboard that used to be over there. It fit perfectly in there once I moved the dresser away and I thought, okay, that's a better spot for that because it's always in my way over there and it just fits better there. I don't know how to play it. I don't know how to use it. I bought it a while ago and I just haven't gotten around to learning how to use it properly. So that's in the mix. This is a big eight cubby, I don't even know what you call it, organizer. It's like that but bigger and I have all different sets of gear in those various cubbies and then I put the sort of like the drapey thing over it to hide that so that you can't see whatever's there and then here's on top where I put all the stuff that I use on a constant basis because I don't want to constantly have to go in and pull things out and you know put it away this that and the other thing all this stuff up here gets used on a constant basis <clears throat> this is my memorabilia of, I guess, important things that I have picked up throughout life that I feel need to be out. But that's another video for another time where I'll go through everything. This is just more stuff. It's got basically more office supplies, paper, and, and there's various things shoved in there. I keep my light out there because I keep my light out there. I actually put this here because I wanted the cat to be able to come up and sit there and look out the window, which he does from time to time when I don't have this area all jammed with a bunch of crap. Then we get into the more office-y side where I've got my photo printer, my work laser printer, various hubs, and then I actually put the little curtain down there, the blackout curtain, to cover where I have a whole, just a slew of wiring and power strips and so on and so forth and they run all the way back behind there as well where I have all my stuff connected up here and then this is where I spend pretty much most of my days my interneting section but then I just have all this stuff here and it's all laid out in a way that makes sense for me and it's taken me a while to get to that point then I have my stupid expensive chair that's supposed to keep me comfortable because it's adjustable in every possible way but it doesn't really and then I got this little cheapy stand here for my work laptop if I need to do that. And then 
I have my little desk here and this I built up with wood and rubber and foam and all kinds of various surfaces so that I can cut and do things on that table if I need to. And a lot of times, because I'm blind, I also have one of these magnetic lights, or not magnetic, uh, magnifying lights. The dry erase board was there so that I could write notes and then my wife and I just ended up drawing on it and I just left it there. And these are pictures that I've taken over the years that were framed and I thought, why not put them up? And that's that. Nothing spectacular. All I did was take the dresser, shove it in the closet after I cleared the closet out, and then I put my keyboard over that was blocking a couple of areas that I needed to get to and to look out the window, and I moved that in its place, put everything away that needed to be put away. I tend to build clutter until I get really annoyed with it, and then I find places to put the clutter. And that's another reason why I was gonna buy a second one of these eight cubby things with the little uh, drawers that can go into them. And I thought to myself, that's just eight more places that I can throw crap. This was originally designed to be my office. I wasn't doing any of the filming or, or any of that kind of stuff. And it's slowly but surely become more of a studio than an office. That's all I wanted to show you today since somebody mentioned it. Now you can see where all the magic happens. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.